Controlling rain and storms seems like something only the gods can do. Or a magician in some medieval village, which, of course, exists only in stories and fairy tales. But modern-day humans seem to have mastered the art of controlling the weather. Is that even possible? I'll be saying that and much more in today's video. Welcome to Wow Factory, guys. Before I begin, be sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss an update. While controlling the weather may seem a bit like science fiction, humans are slowly beginning to influence it, and not by global warming. Have you seen those planes hovering over your head in circles? You might wonder that maybe they've lost their way every time you see it. But in reality, they are doing something else. Apparently, planes don't only fly passengers from one destination to another, but also pour salt over clouds to control the weather. Isn't that a wow phenomena? Here's the logic behind this absurd idea. So this is a process called cloud seeding, and it actually solves, or at least tries, the problem of drought in specific areas. Drought is a serious global issue, and places suffering from it have to deal with scarce drinking water, parched land, and dry trees. In cloud seeding, various chemical agents like dry ice and even common salt are used to spray on clouds to help them rain. Let me take you back to school for a minute here. As you must know, water from the land surface evaporates and cools down to form clouds. And when those clouds become heavy, they rain down on Earth. Cloud seeding is done to help form the water droplets at a much faster rate without any damage whatsoever. Planes either shoot the chemicals in the air or let them out in a spray when they are flying over the clouds. This can also be done from the ground, but planes are kind of an expert at it. Did you know scientists claim that the chances of cloud seeding in a clean environment are up to 30 to 35 percent compared to a polluted environment where it is just 10 percent? Now you know another reason to stop air pollution. But of course, there will always be contradictions. Some scientists claim that cloud seeding is not so great as it works only on clouds that rain eventually and have no role to play in making otherwise nascent clouds rain. But it sure is a positive thing if it helps in solving the global drought problem. Spraying salt over clouds not only helps in making them rain, but also helps in reducing the size of hail during winters. Every year, cold places all over the Earth suffer from property damage from hail, be it cars or rooftops. But the cloud mixed with your regular salt solves that too. I guess we can thank the planes. I guess we thank the planes, in case the messiahs who do it. That is all the wow facts for today, guys. If this video has managed to wow your senses, do hit the like and share button so that I can be back in a jiffy with more extraordinary facts that will blow your mind. Bye-bye!